Hello, and welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In our new series of videos, we're exploring the PHP Storm upcoming features. Today, we'll take a look at PHP Storm 2020.1 EAP2. Make sure to check out the first video too. We are constantly refining the type inference engine, and in this engine, you'll notice several improvements. To aid the IDE with type hinting, you can use an at var tag for a variable. Notice, however, that in this case, PHP Storm highlights the tag as redundant. This means that the variable's type has been inferred successfully, so the tag can be safely removed. Using the provided quick fix, you'll do it in no time. Next, consider the following code snippet. In earlier versions, you would get a warning here telling you that the bar variable is null. It clearly wasn't though, and in the latest versions, we are handling such cases correctly. Null guards are considered too. If one is present, then PHP Storm will not suggest null as a possible variable type where it's not applicable. Let's consider the following array and try to iterate over its items. As you can see, no code completion is available, and you need to provide the element type via the at var tag to get it working. In PHP Storm 2020.1, this is no longer needed and everything works as expected. The array element type will also be detected for the closure parameters inside array map and array filter functions. As always, a new PHP Storm release brings some new code inspections and smaller enhancements with it. Consider the following class. PHP Storm will now detect that a class property is only used in a single method and gets overwritten there. Using the provided quick fix, you can inline this property into a local variable. Similarly, if a property is initialized with some default value, which gets overwritten in a class constructor, PHP Storm will now let you remove such redundant initializer. Inside template files, PHP Storm will now highlight matching PHP tags, thus improving code readability. What's more, you can press Ctrl plus M to jump between them, and it works this way for tags, braces, or square brackets. Starting with PHP Storm 2020.1, the commit UI is no longer the modal dialog, but rather a separate tool window. From here, you can perform all the regular commit-related tasks. Check the diffs, select files, enter the commit message, and provide additional options. Notice that at the same time, the main application UI is not blocked, so that you can still switch between files, edit them, and so on. If you'd like to return to the old behavior, you can do so via the settings. Go to version control, commit dialog, and clear the commit from local changes without showing the commit dialog checkbox. The new EAP build also brings a couple of new working modes. In light edit mode, you can open files in a simple editor window without creating or loading a project. To try light edit mode, open a file from the command line. See the PHP Storm documentation for instructions on getting started with this. This way, you can use PHP Storm as a plain text editor, but no advanced coding assistance is available, of course. You can use Alt plus Enter at any point to switch to the full version. Lastly, there's a new Zen mode, which combines the distraction-free mode with the full screen mode and helps you focus completely on code. To enable it, you can go to View, Appearance, Enter Zen mode, or simply use the quick switcher, press Ctrl plus Backtick 4, 4. This sums up the major new features in the latest PHP Storm EAP build. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates and see you next week.